Ooh. Hey. Okay. I said this shit was gonna happen. I said it. I said it, boy. I said this shit was gonna happen. I ain't capping my rap. Ain't no capping my rap. Go to mob. You know what it is. I predicted this shit, man. I predicted this shit, man. What's up? What's happening, man? It's K back in here. Like I say, like I say, we back here with Stallion. Stally, make this Stallion drop talk album good news, and we here to talk about this ish. Let's go. Fuck it. Anyways, oh yeah, let's try to do all that shit. Sorry, I get into fucking mold and shit. Let's try to do all that shit. Shout out Gunna Mob. You know, we real strong like me. We won't keep this shit coming. We won't keep growing. We won't keep this shit coming. We won't keep coming until, until they can't block us no more. We're going to have to come in and knock a few heads off. You know what I'm saying? So they know what it is that we the realest, we the trillers, and we the most gutter in the world, bro. You can't stop our shine. You hear me? We're going to be more radiant than the stars in the sky. You hear me, man? Shit. We're going to be the 10th one in this bitch. Looking at us like, how the fuck they so fly? They so bright. Hey nigga, that's who we are. Fuck it. You the realest one in the room, nigga. I ain't gotta say shit. Motherfuckers feel my presence when I walk in the room. What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> bro, I be getting my shit too much, bro. I be getting my bag too much. Anyways, what's up with it? Make the stallion good news. Another person who feels she outstanding. She just walk in the room, y'all feel her presence, you heard me? Now. Oh fuck. I'm so trash now. I be forgetting to go to the track listing. All that shit. Anyways, Meg has dropped her album on November 20th. I said I did a video beforehand. Speculate. Hopefully it pops up somewhere. <laughs> Speculating on, oh, is she going to do this? What is she going to do this here? Um, Is she going to this story on the album? Like, what is she going to do? Is it going to be a whole this album? Like, well, not, uh, Tori didn't diss her, but it was like, he was breaking out the situation. Is it going to be a whole album breaking out the situation as well? Cause yeah, cause a lot of people say, "Oh, Tori, you doing that shit for publicity?" Duh, 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 duh. You know, saying so you just using that and trying to get money. Duh, 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 duh. And it was like all oh, that. So I'm like, "Oh, is you gonna do that too?" And that's what I was thinking about. You know what I'm saying? So now I am here to give a review. Once I find the fucking track listing, I should have did this beforehand, but uh, you, uh, you know, it's impromptu, and I was bumping the song in the beginning. So you know, my bad. Anyways. Okay, so here it is, we got good news, make the stallion. Now, there is 17 tracks, you know what I'm saying? So we got Shots Fired, that was the first thing I was bumping. We got Circles, Cry Baby with The Baby, you know what I'm saying? Shout out The Baby, good ass album this week also, or EP, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Do It On The Tip with City Girls, Sugar Baby, Movie featuring Lil Durk, uh, Freaky Girls with SZA, Body, What's New, Work That, Intercourse with Mustang Popcon, Go Crazy with Two Chains and Big Sean, Don't Rock Me to Sleep, Outside Savage Remix with Yonsei, you know what I'm saying? Queen Bay, you already know what it is, and Don't Stop with Thugger, which was the first. Well, okay, we had heard some of these before, but I would say the first single with the new album. We heard some of these before. Okay, now. She's saying this is her album or whatever. Now, personally, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm here to talk about the first two songs. That's mostly how I'm going to break it down. So, I'm going to just get to it. So, Shots Fire, y'all heard in the beginning. And she basically retelling her account of the situation with Tory Lanez. Saying that she's lying. If you believe him, you are F person. He ain't telling the truth. My best friend and him are in cahoots. They lying on me. Da, 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 da. If it wasn't for me, you would have been still locked up. You know, I protected you because, I, you know, I thought the cops was going to kill you. Basically, if you've seen her live, she basically saying that shit. She was mostly dissing her friend, saying, oh, you left me. You think you hot. Now you got ice on your neck. Who paying for that? So that real story that came out, I was like, oh, um, Tori tried to offer Meg and her best friend Kelsey hush money. She might be insinuating that Kelsey took the hush money and has been flossing on Instagram ever since. I will say I've been I've been looking at some of them both. I'm like, oh, okay, I see you. Not no money. I was like, what the fuck you do? <laughs> that was my question. It turns out Tori might have paid for the lifestyle. But anyways, as we comes back to this, she's just breaking out her situation. How her best friend betrayed her, Tori Lanez, you know what I'm saying? And it's cool, but this is the thing. With your live stream, right? Even when you, I think she did it on her birthday, whatever the fuck, whatever happened. You gave us basically the same information 
right? Saying he did it or whatever the fuck. Y'all was arguing, da 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 da. You was talking about the money you got, your words to success. I could have said some shit, but I didn't say it. You said some other you left, and the motherfucker was mad, and he's in his feelings, and he did whatever, right? This is my thing. And then also, she's saying how, oh, it was her and Tori first, and the, the best friend tried to come take him. Some bullshit like that. Well, I'm hearing it was Tori and the best friend first, and then Meg swooped in. So that's like the only new shit. I'm like, oh, okay. And apparently they're in cahoots. So I'm like, oh, hmm. Okay then. But like, with that being said, with that live stream you originally gave, you basically broke down all this information we're hearing on the album. This is just for niggas that didn't listen to that shit. I was like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, he was talking your shit. You know, you had the Who Shot Ya beat in the background. If you don't know, Who Shot Ya is the Biggie song. When Tupac came with hit him up, first off, fuck your bitch in the clip, you claim more sight. Like, you know, when Tupac was doing his thing and he was going that big, big came out with the Who Shot Your Song, you know what I'm saying? So that was the thing. It was like, oh, okay, I thought you were going to spill. So when I heard that off rip, I'm like, oh, this is going to this about to be some shit. <laughs> like, off rip, I was like, this is about to be some shit. So, yeah, I'm just here. This is the only thing about Megan the song. Like, if the people don't 100% believe you, it's like, Bro, nigga, I'm confused. What the fuck? This shit been happening since July. Maybe it's the end of June. And we still don't know what the F happened. Bro, we's all confused. We still don't know what the F happened. Because yeah, cause I'm just like, what is this still? Like, I don't know, bro. Again, I'm just waiting for this fucking court case, bro. Nah, I'm just waiting for those fucking crookers because enough is enough. Just give us the whole shit. What the fuck happened? And let's get it over with. You know what I'm saying? So let's do this shit. But anyways, by the way, a little timbit because I didn't cover this in the news. Tori is in there like, how's Meg doing this? She's telling shit about the story. Nigga, first of all, Meg started this issue. Number two, you released an album about it, Tori. So why the fuck is you pressing her about, oh, don't take it to social media? You been doing it and she been doing it. Nigga, stay in your fucking lane. Anyways, you know, when the case started, when you actually went to court, you went on social media and did your little IG live. So, nigga, what? You know, she did. Anyways. That's happening in circles. She focused more on her ex best friend talking about talking shit about her. You know, usually you, you did this, you did that, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. It's not real new information, but it's cool. Now I'm gonna keep it a book. Production was cool. I like the album. I like the scissor feature. Dirkio was cool. Shout out my nigga Dirk. RP King Vaughn. Dirkio was cool. Um, you know, popcorn. Me love popcorn. You know. Um, you know what I'm saying? Mustard did the thing. Like, I was really mad. Production sound good. I like the cover art of the album. Pretty good. I knew it was going to be about Tori because she had, like, the the infamous Ice Rocks that said F U. And we knew she was talking about Tori. Come on, bro. So, it was like, yeah. Yeah. This is my thing, though. And it's not anything to this album. Like I was stating in my What's Poppin' in this week, go check that out if you haven't seen it, hopefully it pops up here somewhere. What I was saying was, I don't know what it is, I didn't like this more, because the funny part is when Fever came out, I liked that way more than this. I'm just like, I don't know. The energy's there, I just, I don't know what it is, maybe I needed more songs, maybe I needed more songs I didn't hear. Maybe I just needed some shit I could bop to, because this is the thing, right? Love Meg, I love what she's doing. A dude can't listen to her music because the shit... I read one of the titles. What the hell is this shit called with the City Girls? Hold on. I read one of these titles. Do it on the tip. Ex excuse me? I ain't listening to this ish. No disrespect to that. It ain't for me, okay? It ain't for me. The twerking nice, but it ain't for me. By the way, I hate that body song. The video helps. The video helps. I hate, I hate that song. Bro, I was listening to that shit. I turned that shit off, man. I was like, fuck this song. This shit trash. Again, but not to say there ain't no good songs on the album. I should have just kept the tablet in my hand. But no, I did not. There is some very good songs on the album. Like I said, the first two songs I was entertained by. The Baby did a thing on Cry Baby. That was cool. A movie with Dirk was cool. And Freaky Girls with Sizzle was cool. And I think that's about it that I was fucking with, to be honest with you. That's about it I was fucking with. Oh yeah, Girls in the Hood is when she did, uh, she flipped the, you know, the NWA. Cruising down the street in my six foot. Jocking a bitch. Slapping a hoe. <laughs> yeah, man, back yo, old school hip-hop was different. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> Jocking, man, 
Alright, anyway, man. It was just cool. I I don't know what it is. Maybe the sequencing. I don't know. But like Fever. Maybe because Fever was shorter. I just don't know. I feel like it was just. It was okay. It wasn't bad. But like I'm just like. Nah it wasn't cool. Compared to Fever. I feel like Fever was better. Again, I can't fuck with like. Majority of these songs. Because bro I ain't a chick. And I, I ain't a, a young. I ain't on my hot girl summer city, uh, uh, city girl where I'm just running around and having a roster of dudes just doing whatever I want to them, you know, uh, having one dude in the bed but FaceTiming the other dude like, yo, are you linking up tomorrow? Yo, I'm trying to do some new tricks on you. It's like, what? Like, I get it. I get it. You know, they are proud of their sexuality and they take it into their own house and they're proud of everything they do. But come, bro, let's keep it a book. Let's keep it a book. People who ever watch this, I know some of y'all girl, some of y'all women, some of y'all men. If you heard somebody like your homie, right, who happened to be a female, and she was talking this issue in front of you, you just be like, you would have a perspective. You'd be like, listen, you you fluid, but you kind of move in a certain way. It's fine. Do you what you do. But still, I get it. Like, oh, but guys, y'all talk about when y'all be smashing bitches from the back. Oh, that, oh y'all, y'all pull the hair. Oh, y'all like... I like a girl with big chest in 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 the rap music, but why can't we do this? Uh, yeah, that's cool, but like I'm a dude. If you're a girl and you don't like hearing that, that is totally fine. Just like I don't like hearing this. This. Do it on the t what? I wanna hear that. Get the f out of here with that ish. You know what I'm saying? But not to say this not true, but oh, again, the production is good. I liked it. She sounds better. Like, you can hear the money they put into this. Especially with the sample clears alone. Sh Who Shot Ya and fucking, um, the Easy e song. Bro, what? Those are states? If you don't understand music, right? Again, there's like, what's that bullshit called? I always forget shit when I try to be smart. But when you make an album and shit, uh, when you're signed to a label, it's like, you get royalties, right? So when you make the shit, you get royalties. Now, the, uh, when you when you get signed, you get this much amount of money for your album. So you use all that bullshit. So when you're doing the royalties for the song, say, like, it is good, right? Because if you have a motherfucker featured on the song, they also have to get a cut. But it's by her herself. So with those being very big songs, depending how much he had to pay the estate to let her use that sample, that beat... They get some of that too. They eating off that. Meg ain't just getting all that money. They eating off those two songs. So the Biggie Estate and the Easy E Estate is getting that shit. NWA might get a piece of that herself. Unless they blessed her like, yo, nah, you got it. You could use that shit for free. We cool. Unless that was the case. But in t we don't know. So I'm just going off the business side of it. She gonna have to pay for this shit. But yeah, you could you could just tell the money behind this album. It's a good album. I get love the cover art. I love she put popcorn on this shit, you know what I'm saying? Cool, but not for me. I'm not the target audience, and it's not for me. It's not. First two songs I came here and I dissected. That's all I was here for. Basically re-repeating your Instagram live with a one, two, little more Timbits. That's about it. No disrespect to me. It's cool. I just enjoyed Fever more. But anyways, what did y'all think? Did y'all like this album more? You like this album better than Fever? Did she let you know anything you didn't know from the Instagram lives or Tory side from those first two songs? How do y'all feel about it? Is you bumping this all day? Is y'all bumping this in lockdown quarantine? What the hell y'all doing, man? Tell me about it. Put it in the comments down below. Anyways, I'm off of this thing. It's been K.A. Y'all been a lovely audience. And I'm gone. Like, subscribe, do all that little ish, post notification, all that share. Hey, we ain't locked down again. You might as well share with your friends. I know y'all motherfuckers bought at home. Share with your homeboy. It is what it is. But yeah, man, I'm off of this thing. Shlam, Zoom, peace, y'all. Ash, L's, gang.